A community is reeling after two people are dead, two others are injured, and one of them is a three year old girl. Our Jake Ryle went to that community in Hamilton where residents are asking for answers and solutions. And Jake, I know you tried talking to police about this shooting. What did they have to say? Uh, that you know they've been tight lipped at this point, Tanya. They have not had a chance to speak with the media and it's been more than 24 hours since that shooting took place. At this point, we don't know if there's one or possibly multiple suspects that they are looking for following this quadruple shooting. It leaves a lot of questions that have not been answered at this point and a lot of questions for those folks that live in that second ward neighborhood. 911, what's the address of the emergency? The calls came in almost immediately. Second and Chestnut. Tuesday, just after 7 in the evening. One breathe the one eight, come on. I need help making here, please, come on. A 22 and 29 year old were killed. Two others, including the three year old girl, were taken to the hospital. So I was laying down asleep in my house. For neighbors. And I just heard bam, 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 bam. Juan Clemens says while the deadly shooting is tragic, there's a deeper issue he believes the city needs to address. You got a YMCA, you got this club, you got that club, you got a other new franchise opening. But what do the kids have here? Except misery on top of misery on top of more misery. He's hoping for less talk and more action from city leaders to provide resources in underserved areas like the second ward neighborhood where the shooting took place. But they come and have meetings every other week. What can we do? What can you do? Start bringing something back to our community. Change needed to happen years ago, but it's like, okay, this that, that should be a wake up call. I mean, we should be super woke right now and figuring out what's 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 next. Leaders like Pastor Shaquilla Matthews are hoping to put words into action. She leads Hype Hamilton, which connects young people to resources they need to get away from gun violence. Then we have to be able to come to the table to work to a positive solution to get it done, to protect our kids, to save the next generation, and also to speak to those that we quote unquote call lost, be able to speak a message and a word of positivity to encourage them, to offer them hope. A neighborhood now has a call to action. They're hoping city leaders will answer. Instead of tearing down ours, let's bring some of these communities and bring up some, a boxing gym, somebody can learn how to gymnastics, something. Uh, police have yet to identify any of the suspect or suspects wanted in connection with this shooting. We are going to be continuing to follow up on this, hoping to get a little bit more in the way of answers from Hamilton police. As soon as we do, we'll be sure to provide updates for you on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Hamilton, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. All right, Jake.